Biryani has long been one of the most popular dishes across South Asia. A home-cooked biryani is a labour of love, with hours of marination and infusion behind it. It comes off the stove and it fills the house. But every biryani is different, across every country and even regions within the countries. So, where does biryani come from and why is it so different in every region? Well, there's a lot of speculation around the origin of the word. It definitely comes from Farsi, but some suggest it's derived from belenj, which means rice, or biryan, which means to fry or roast. It's possible that biryani originated in Iran, which was previously part of the Persian Empire. Another possibility is that biryani was one of the many dishes brought to North India by the Mughal Empire, but there's some historical evidence that similar rice dishes existed in the south long before the invasion. The dish Un Solu, dating from somewhere between 200 BCE and 200 CE, is seen as a predecessor of the modern biryani. Made of rice, ghee, meats, turmeric, coriander, pepper, and bay leaf, it resembles the ingredient combination that make up the modern South Indian biryani. The spices used to make South Indian biryani are distinctive to the region. They aren't found in the Middle East or North India, which is why South Indian and Tamil biryanis have a distinctive taste. Each region has a slight difference that distinguishes its biryani. For example, a Calcutta biryani is unique among Indian biryanis for its inclusion of potatoes. Sri Lankan biryani is much spicier than most Indian varieties, and the Kaya biryani has ingredients such as mustard oil, peanuts, raisins, and cheese. Even every part of Delhi has its own kind of biryani. What you're watching is actually my mom and I making Mauritian biryani, which is kind of different to a lot of the Indian biryanis, but has some similarities to Tamil biryanis and Calcutta. So, which of them have you tried, and which one's your favourite? Let us know in the comments below.